Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous classes guys, we have studied some logical functions. And now in today's class, we will learn more about some more logical DAX functions. So let's start the class guys. And here are the topics guys, which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's start with this bit and DAX function. So let's go to the Microsoft reference page. And now here we read the definition. It written a bitwise and of two numbers. And we have only just two parameters, number one and number two. And if you read about this parameter guys, any scalar expression that return number, if not an integer, it is truncated. So here truncated means guys, to make the things shorter. And now let's go to Power BI desktop. And here I have created one table, which name is logics. So let's go to the data view and here we can see guys, we have value one and value two. And now I will go here in calculated column and let me rename this as bit and. And now I will write my DAX function, which is bit and. So here we have two parameters, which is number one and number two. So I will take value column here, which is from logics table and the next parameter guys i will take value 2 which is from the again logics table and close the bracket and hit enter so here is the result guys and now let's understand the concept that how power bi perform this calculation so to understand this concept you should have basic knowledge about binary decimals and bits but if you don't have much knowledge so no need to worry about guys, we will surely clear this binary concept under this tutorial. So here is the word file. So please keep in mind guys, binary calculations are always performed in the 0 and 1. So here you can see guys, I have taken the bits which is 1, 1, 1, 1 and 1. Under this line guys, I have taken 1 and the 1 is multiplied by 2 which is 2. 2 is multiplied by 2 which is 4. 4 is multiplied by 2 which is 8. So it is a multiple of 2. So in this way guys, our series will go on. And now here question is, we need to calculate binary decimals of 13 and 11. And if we go here in Power BI desktop, so here we can see guys, our first value is 13 and second value is 11. And after apply this DAX function, our answer is 9. So let's go back to our word file. And now let's understand the concept. So first thing guys, we need to understand that here that how we can make total sum of 13 using these binary values. And this part is little tricky guys, but I will definitely try to explain things in a better way. So here guys, we need to use these values and calculate total sum should be equal to 13, not more than that. So let's start our operation. So I am considering this bit 1. That means bit 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and 3 plus 4 equal to 7 but our answer is not 13 yet so we need to add more bits and if i add 8 here then digit is equal to 15 but we require total sum is 13 so we can't add this 8 under this 7 if we add it it become 15 so we don't need to go ahead and add more calculation and now we need to understand how we can make 13 using these four values so let's suppose if I using 8 here, 8 plus 4 equal to 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So I can skip this because we don't need to add 2 here. So that means 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 1 is 13. So after using these three values guys, we can make our sum is 13. We don't need to consider this 2. And those value we are not considering here, it becomes 0. So our binary decimal value is this 8 is represent 1 here, 1. This 4 is also represent as 1 here, again 1. And this 2 we do not consider. So it consider as 0. And the last one is 1, this is also 1 here. So guys, this is the binary decimal of 13. So guys, we have to calculate binary decimals of 11 this time. 
and we need to perform same calculation to adding the 11. So let's suppose 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15. That means we don't need to go ahead and perform some calculation. We can make our result using these four values. Let's suppose 8 plus 4 is 12, but we required 11. So we don't consider this 4. Now 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11. So this time our series is this 8 is represent 1 here and this 4 we haven't used while calculation. So we will consider as 0. Whatever the value you are skipping while calculation it should be considered as 0. Now this 2 is representing as 1 here and the last is this 1 is also representing 1 here. So this is a binary of 11. So we have created two binary operations here, 13 and 11. And now move to the last step. So guys, we have to use one binary table here where we need to look at these value. So let me scroll it down. So here we can see this table guys. This is column A and this is column B. And if A is less than B, that it should be zero. And if A is equal to B, that should be 1. And if A is greater than B, it should be 0. So in this way guys, we have to match our requirements with the help of these binary values. And now let's apply the logic. Let's suppose this 13 is column A and this 11 is column B. So we need to look at that guys, where is column A is 1 and B is also 1. So in this column guys, you can see the last value is 1. And under B column guys, again you can see the last value is 1. So that means if A is equal to B, so answer should be 1. So I will write 1 here. We are creating new binary series with the help of these two values. Now we need to look where is 0 in column A and where is 1 in column B. So here we can see guys, in column A, 0 is written here and in column B, 1 is here that means our next value should be 0. That means if A is equal to B, that is 0. So here we can see guys, the column A is 0 and column B is 1. 0, 1. So our answer should be 0. And now look at the third value which is 1 and 0. So again we need to look up the table. And we need to find 1 and 0 together. So 1 is here and 0 is here. And if A is equal to B, our answer is again 0. And now comes to the last part, which is 1 and 1. So here we can see guys, column A is 1 and column B is also 1. If both the column are equal, it should be again 1. So this is the new binary series guys, which we have find out to look up this table. And now we need to perform the same calculation like 13 and 11. So only that value will consider here where integer is 1 and if we have 0 value then we don't need to consider that particular value. So here you can see guys these two values are 0. So we don't need to consider it. We just only consider it this one and this one. And now go to our bits. So we have to calculate this 8 which is this one you can see here. So we don't need to calculate this figure because it is 0. And again, we don't need to calculate this figure. This is also 0. So we have to add on this 8 plus 1, which is 9. So in this way, guys, this calculation has performed in Power BI desktop. So you guys can practice this binary decimal for your knowledge enhancement. I hope guys, now you are clear with the logic behind this calculation. And now move to the next topic of our today's class which is bit L shift. So again, I will go here on new column. And this time I will write bit L shift. And now I will write my DAX function, which is bit L shift. So in the first parameter guys, I will take this value one, which is from the logics table, comma. And the next parameter is shift amount. So this parameter says, where you want to change the bits. So 
so i want to change the bits as 2 this time and close the bracket and now let's go to our series so this is the first bit guys and i have shifted to 2 which is 1 or 2 and here you can see guys this is the number 4 and our 13 is multiplied by 4 which is 52 so here is the answer guys that means this bit become primary which is 4 so in this way guys we can use this bit left shift function in a similar way guys we have one more function here which name is bit right shift so again you need to go here and apply the same function go here on new column and this time we will apply bit right shift bit right shift and this time our value is let's say value 2 and i want to shift with 2 and close the bracket so here we can see guys in this way we can calculate bit right shift so with the help of this formulas we can shift our bit and now let's move towards the last dax function of our today's class which is bit or so this bit or function are very similar like bit and function we have to perform the same calculation and find out the binary decimals after finding the binary decimals we need to look up the tables so we need to look up different table which name is bit or this is a bit and table guys so for the bit or function we need to look up the bit or table so this time we don't have any bit or table so you guys can explore yourself now let's apply bit or dax function here simply go here and go here on new column and this time i will write bit or and now i will write my dax function which is bit or and here guys i will write my values which is value 1 which is from logix table and value 2 which is again from logix table and close the bracket so in this way guys we can calculate these bit and function bit l shift bit right shift and bit or i hope guys now you have clear understanding about these dax functions and those who are new to this channel please kindly hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to press bell icon guys else you will miss an update and those who wanna learn power bi from scratch so here we have this youtube channel guys which name is power bi full course by shubham under this 50 tutorials guys i have explained each and every concept in detail and you guys are already seen this separate dax function series and this is the update playlist guys and for the job seekers guys we have this telegram channel where i am keep posting latest jobs opening of power bi people are also putting some latest interview question and answers so you guys can also connect me on telegram channel and guys we also provide paid session so you guys can connect me on linkedin for the paid sessions thank you so much guys for your more love and support keep learning keep growing thank you so much